Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at maintaining and also sharpening black, colored, or DLC coated steel. Now more than ever, you're seeing a lot of players switching over to skate blades or runners that aren't your conventional silver. There's a lot of different manufacturers out there that specifically make skate runners, and there is a massive difference between them and the traditional runners that you find on some hockey skates. Now something that I've come across now more than any other time is a lot of questions and comments on the types of steel that are available. The two questions that we receive the most on Instagram, Facebook, and also on YouTube are either a mix of the traditional steel versus the colored steel. The colored steel is just a paint job, it's just a gimmick. That's number one. And the second one is from a few unlucky people that live in parts of the world where their ice rinks or even some stores are refusing to sharpen colored steel. The reason for that is because they're scared of damaging the steel, so they've basically just said that they're not gonna be touching any types of this kinds of steel. And in this video, I wanted to clear up some of the reasons why that really shouldn't happen because it isn't that big of a deal to be able to sharpen and maintain. Now coming to the first one, when people say that colored steel or steel that's very, very reflective and very, very shiny is just a cosmetical change, it has no performance benefits, that isn't exactly true. When you have black steel, if it's proper black steel, the blade has essentially gone through a oxidization process. Now what that does, it's number one responsible for that black coating on top of the blade, it improves the blade's ability to be able to withstand just general wear and tear. And it has numerous benefits like making the steel stronger, improving your edge life. So when you get your skates sharpened, the blade is able to maintain its edge life for much, much longer. Depending on, I guess you could say the finish or how refined the manufacturer of this black steel has taken the process, you also get other benefits such as increased bite on the ice. But I guess the key point here is to keep in mind that there are different levels of how far these runners have been, you could say, refined by the manufacturer that's making them. Now, of course, if you wanna see a video where I go into much more detail about the differences between these types of steel, I'll link it above and also down below in the video description. There's a big difference between them. And a while back, I created a video where I went through all of the differences between these types of steel and helped you to identify which ones you should look out for and which ones you might wanna consider using because it really does make a big difference. So the players that say colored steel is just a gimmick, it's really important to note that different manufacturers will take the refining process of their skate blades and runners to different levels. You have some manufacturers that solely create steel like Massive Blade and Step Steel, who in my opinion create some of the best quality runners that you can get. Now comparing them to your skate manufacturer's runners, it's important to mention that Although the runners is a very critical element for the skate blade, skate manufacturers aren't gonna be able to put in as much time, detail, and I guess you could say refinement into the runners that they create when you compare them to companies like Massive Blade or Step Steel, who are easily some of the two favorites that you find everywhere. It's very easy to look at a company like Step Steel and recognize that what they're producing is not a gimmick. If you look at their black blades, it's not just a black coating or a black paint job. Their blades look chrome. The amount of refinement and engineering that goes into creating a runner of this quality is unbelievable. And it's one of the reasons why so many NHL players are using step steel to date. Colored steel is not a gimmick. It's really important to note that there are different grades and different levels of refinement that different manufacturers take to be able to produce colored or black steel. And some of them do it a lot better than others. Now the point on maintaining colored steel. In terms of your day-to-day -day maintenance, all you really need to do is when you take your skates off, I'd always recommend putting some sort of cover over the skate blades. That's just to ensure that when they're inside your hockey bag, your runners aren't knocking against each other. They're not knocking against things inside your bag that they shouldn't be. I know personally on a couple of occasions when I've not put skate covers over my blades, I've put them into my bag. When I get home and I take out my bag to air out my equipment and let it dry, I hope some of you guys are doing that, I find my runners sitting on top of, say, a set of keys or some loose change. That's not the kind of thing that you want your runners to come into contact with. So just putting a cover over them will make a massive difference. Now, when we look at the point of how to sharpen colored steel, black steel, or DLC coated steel, there isn't a crazy science behind it. Whether you're using an automated sharpener like the Sparks over here, or your rink or hockey store is using a traditional sharpener that needs to be done manually, the only consideration that needs to be made when you're sharpening colored steel, black steel, DLC steel, is after you finish the sharpening process, which is done the exact same way, the main thing that you don't wanna do is use a ceramic stone or a stone hone to run down the sides of the runners. That's where the problem occurs. If your runners have proper DLC coating, which is diamond-like coating, or they are, I guess you could say, proper black steel, 
you don't need to do this. The whole point is that the grade of steel that's used to construct these runners, and also the hardness of the steel, the finish of the steel, is refined to such a degree that effectively it doesn't need to be honed down with something as harsh as a stone or a ceramic hone. What you can do if you really do want to do this is use a leather hone to run down the sides of the runners, not a stone one or not a ceramic one. Because all you'll be doing by using a material so hard like ceramic is effectively scraping or shaving the DLC coating or the black coating off of the side of the runners. That's where the issue occurs because then all of those performance benefits are essentially pointless because you're removing the surface or the finish that creates them. So if you're watching this video from somewhere where your ice rink won't shop in black steel, DLC steel, colored steel, all you need to do is just share this video with them and show them. All they need to do if it's real DLC steel, real black steel, is simply use a leather hone down the sides of it, or nothing at all. Very often I'll sharpen my runners with this machine right here, and I won't hone them down. I won't run anything down the side of them because the quality of runners that I'm using doesn't require that to be done. So hopefully this is a video that you can share with anyone that has any misconceptions about colored steel, black steel, DLC steel. It, there's not some crazy trick to being able to sharpen them. It's just making sure that you don't run that ceramical stone hone down the sides. And for you as players, making sure that you cover the runners when you're not using them, just to ensure that you maintain that edge life and you maintain that coating and maintain the performance. But make sure that you share this video with anyone that needs to watch it. And if you have any questions about colored steel, DLC steel, black coated steel, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And of course, make sure you check out the video where I run through all of the different types of steel and go into a lot more detail about polished steel versus black steel versus traditional stainless steel. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If there's anything that you feel that we missed, please leave your comments down below in the comment section. And of course, if you want more information on anything featured in this video, like the runners or even the spark sharpener over here, we've got reviews and insight videos down below so you can get a little bit more information on all of them. And also you can find out links from where you can pick them up depending on where you're based around the world. But as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and click on that bell so you get notifications when we post a video. Notification squad, if you're watching, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I see your comments on our videos. Thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.